build.com tutorial hello and welcome to our channel on this video i'm going to show you how you can use build.com so please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial and to create an account on build.com you could also use my affiliate link below the description where earn a small commission at no additional cost to you and by using the link you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up but before that if you don't know what is build.com it is a cloud-based financial operations platform designed to automate and streamline accounts payable and accounts receivable processes for businesses of all sizes by integrating seamlessly with popular accounting software like quickbooks zero and netsuite build.com serves as a central hub for managing invoices and bill payments enhancing efficiency in financial workflows and the platform allows users to approve and pay bills remotely through its mobile app which features notifications and user-friendly dashboard for tracking pending payments and now to create an account on this platform, just click the link in the description or click the get started button right here on the top right corner. In which upon clicking on it, you just need to fill out the record information in here including your first name, last name, work email, phone number, then click the get started button to proceed. And after that you will be directed in this dashboard of build.com and on the left side panel it will show you a variety of options to navigate if you get started overview, inbox, documents, payables, receivables and even tax management in here now on the right side panel it will show you some of the things that you need to consider in order to verify your email address in here and also to add a payment method just click this one by clicking on it you can simply choose to add a card or choose bank to pay your vendors you can simply click credit or debit card however it has a fee or flat fee up to 0.9 percent of transaction all by clicking the bank account you can simply link your bank account in here but make sure that you fill out the required information to do so or to verify your email address in here so just go to your email inboxes upon sending the verification and you should start verifying your email address in here going back on this page once again aside from payment method we could even add a vendors in here we can choose either to enter vendor information or provide vendors email or addresses or even import vendor by upload by clicking on it we can simply upload the csv file from our computer or alternatively simply fill out this part to import including the vendors entity customers accounts departments items locations and many more so you can basically import it some of the file of any entity in here now by clicking the exit button we'll now be able to go back to this page once again inside the option of adding a vendor in here if we scroll down we could also see that we can start creating a bills or uploading a bill in here so just click here send the document to your inbox by clicking on it we can forward items to your unique bill email so you can simply click here go to my inbox to do so but going back on this page once again aside from that you could also upload a bill or enter manually by clicking on it from here it will show you that you can simply fill out the required information including the vendor name in here invoice number po number payment term invoice date, due date, the amount, bill description and even choose the bill frequency such as one time or recurring. And below you could even add some other details including notes to this bill. While on the left side panel you can simply upload an invoice in here or click drag file from your computer files. And after filling out this required information just click create bill button on the top right corner to proceed. But going back on this page again aside from that kind of methods of creating a bill in here. We can start creating a bill or import bills by upload by clicking this button or option here to upload a CSP file. So basically instead of entering manually, we can simply upload a file from our CSP or Excel file in here. Now moving on aside from that, under this get paid option, we can simply create our first invoice by clicking on it. We can click this add an invoice button and start entering the invoice details on this page, including the customer name in here, the invoice number the invoice date, payment terms, the bill detail or template in here and also we can customize this invoice depending on our preferences now below here we could even choose the sales, rep, PO number, customize the items, names, description, quantity, prices and even tax in here and below it will show you the subtotal and also the amount due in dollar well on the right side panel it will show you the overview of it so we can simply click the review and send or save invoice or save drop in here so going back on the page aside from creating an invoice 
manually we can even upload a csv file if you want to now going back in here we can also add a company logo by simply uploading here the file supported such as png jpeg jpg or any of these file supported type and also the size of it i'll also need to consider before uploading the logo now going back on this page aside from that we could also add a bank account by clicking on it and click this link bank account we can use our link plead to securely link your bank account to bill since they use plead in transferring or auto transfer customer payments to and from this account now lastly you could even add a customer by clicking on add a customer button we can click add a customer manually in here by entering here the customer name and also enter the customer email address button below so after filling out all of the required information just simply click that customer button to start adding the customer in here and upon clicking on it you'll now be able to see here that we have now successfully created our first customer or added in here and to check if that actually works you simply go on the left side panel and under receivable just click this customers and upon clicking on it it will show us that the customer in here has now been added and if you also want to add more just to the same process by simply clicking this add customer button right here and fill out the required information or alternatively you could also click this merge customer or show active and inactive customer in here now moving on aside from that on the left side panel by clicking this overview it will show us some of the data including the list of bills to pay bills approval payments in payments out and other reports on these pages by clicking this inbox it will show us all of the messages in our inbox and we can even share our inbox address with vendors to receive now under these documents you will be able to see all of the documents in folders with its corresponding names date and due date in here moving on under these payables or vendors it will show us in here the list of our vendors in here that we could also import vendor this depending on our preferences well other these bills we could also select to enter all bills if you want to by filling out again the required information on this page or we can navigate the recurring bills drop bills vendor credits and unpaid bills in here well under approvals it will show us the bill approvals vendor credits policies and other payments out it will show us all of the payments expiring payments and failed payments in here moving on to the receivable section you can also navigate the items estimates invoices such as the open invoices drop invoices recurring and credit memos moving on on the left side panel we can also navigate this tax management where we can create and share our w9 which we can share to customers moving on to this reports section we can also navigate this payable reports the unpaid bills transaction list by vendor bill approval audit and many more now under the settings option by clicking on it you'll be able to see some other details including the profile settings that we can start customizing about the accounting approval import and export payables receivable sync and integrations and many more so basically the purpose of bill.com is to simply automate and streamline the financial operations of business so overall that is just basically how you can use bill.com thank you